All right, for today's lesson, I need you to go to our homepage in Canvas. Then you can either, either click the This Week button, or you can go straight to Modules. And it is week seven, Monday, video lesson, Racing Toward a Goal, part one. I need you to open that up. Now, once you open it up, you need to go ahead and click on the assignment and have it open in the tab. So we're going to be reading a fiction story, realistic fiction, which means it's make-believe, but it, it seems like it's real. There are real events, real people, but it's a made-up story with made-up dialogue. And our focus skill And our learning objective for today is I will cite textual evidence to support analysis of what the text says explicitly, as well as inferences drawn from the text. Now, there are some big words in there. So when you cite text evidence, that means you're going into the story and you're finding and when evidence. And when you're citing it, you're putting quotation marks around it and you're giving credit to the author or the title of the story. And when you're finding text evidence, you're going to analyze what it says explicitly, that means right in the story, or you might have to draw some inferences. And remember, whenever you draw inferences, you're taking your background knowledge, which you already know, and what you're learning from the story, and you're putting them together to come up with an inference. So your assignment should be open. We're going to be reading racing toward the goal. I'm going to go ahead and make this larger so that I can see it. Here's a selection about a boy learning to run competitively. Read the selection and pay close attention to the details about characters, settings, and events. So we want to make sure that we look at who the characters in the story are, the setting of the story, and then the events. The plot, which makes up the plot. Remember the plot are the events that happen in the story. So if I preview this, I see there's a part one, which tells me there's going to be a part two later on. And in the picture, I see a boy who is running down a sidewalk. And so I am going to make an inference that he's running in his neighborhood because there are houses next to the sidewalk. And there are no more pictures, so we're going to start reading. Racing toward a goal. Last one to the swings is a rotten egg, Samuel yelled, and the three boys sprinted out to the playground. Nathaniel easily beat the others, and an idea popped into his head. Hey, he thought, I'm a fast runner. Running, that's a sport I could do. Unfortunately, there was no track team at his grade level, so he was on his own. When he arrived home that day, Nathaniel practiced running from Jamie's house, which was the first one on his block, all the way to the dead end and then back again. It felt good. He lengthened his stride and ran faster. He realized that if he pumped his arms back and forth as if pulling himself along, his speed increased even more. Later, he concentrated on his breathing. He experimented with this technique. Inhaling and exhaling through his mouth caused his throat to burn, but breathing through his nose didn't provide sufficient oxygen. Finally, he figured out that inhaling through his nose and exhaling through his mouth was the most effective technique. I'm going to stop right here so that we can talk about inhaling and exhaling. So when you inhale, you're breathing in. You're taking in air. In air. And when you exhale, you're blowing air out. So he found that when he breathed in through his nose, and breathe out through his mouth, it was the most effective technique so that his throat wouldn't burn. As he made his way inside for dinner, he reminded himself that his body was his equipment, just like a car is a race car driver's, so he needed to fill it with premium fuel. Remembering that his gym teacher had told him that staying hydrated was important for athletes, he poured himself a glass of water as soon as he sat down at the table. He proceeded to eat the chicken breast and vegetables that were on his plate 
and then asked for seconds on the vegetables. When his mother commented on that, he responded, vegetables provide good nutrition. Can I stop right here? Because I want to talk about hydrated. So if I don't know what the word hydrated means, I can use context clues in that sentence to figure it out. So it says, hydrated was important, saying hydrated was important for athletes. He poured himself a glass of water. So if I have to use my context clues, when I drink water or another liquid, it keeps me hydrated. I've been telling you that for years, she laughed. During library time the next day, Nathaniel borrowed a book about the sport of running. The book emphasized that it was important to keep track of your daily running exercises and to review your routine to find ways it could be improved. Nathaniel started running a running diary and wrote down his training schedule, distances, and times. The book also said that in addition to daily training goals, you should have a main goal, something important you want to achieve. Nathaniel decided that the main goal of his training would be to win the school's field day races in June. Now the pace of Nathaniel's training increased. He scheduled long runs to increase his endurance and short sprints to improve his speed. Even in his dreams, Nathaniel could feel the wind blowing in his hair and the pounding of his feet on the ground. His little brother who shared the room complained that Nathaniel kicked and moved around too much at night. I'm training, Nathaniel responded firmly. Okay, so now we're gonna move into the next section of the lesson where we're going to actually cite text evidence, textual evidence from the story. So go to slide number five for me. And the very first question, before we read the question, we're gonna read the top part right here. And it says the first part of the selection explains how Nathaniel got the idea to train to run faster. It also describes the things he did to improve his running. From these details, you can start to get a picture of the kind of person this character is. Examine the details in this part of the selection to see what conclusions you can reach. So number one, part A. How soon does Nathaniel begin to train after deciding to do so? So the hint that they're giving you is to reread paragraphs two and three for help with the question. Now they answered it for us. If you go back to paragraphs two and three, you'll see that Nathaniel starts training that same day. He tries running when he gets home from school. So when he put his mind to it, he started training that same day, right when he got home from school. Part B, what sentence from the story supports your answer to part A? This is where we're gonna cite text evidence. And it is it explicitly states when he decided training. So we're gonna go back to paragraph three. And when he arrived home that day, Nathaniel practiced running from Janie's house, which was the first one on his block, all the way to the dead end and then back again. That is the evidence that we are going to cite. So when we cite text evidence, you have to type it word for word, which means we're gonna have to go back and forth on this. So you have quotation marks when he arrived home that day, Nathaniel practiced running from Jane from Jamie's house, which was the first one. On the block all the way to the dead end and then back again. If you need to pause this so you can copy and type word for word, please do so and then resume the video whenever you're done typing. Okay, so we're going to go to slide six. And slide six. Question number two says, what body functions does Nathaniel begin to pay particular attention to? One answer has been given for you. Give at least two more. Look at paragraphs four through eight for words that describe the functions of your body. So functions of your body, things that your body does. 
Think of your breathing, your arms, your legs, all your body parts and what they do to work together. So they gave us, he thinks about the length of the stride. So I'm going to go to paragraph four. And so that's where they got the first one. He lengthened his stride and ran faster. Now I'm reading something else right here. He realized that if he pumped his arms back and forth as if pulling himself along, his speed increased even more. So that is a body function. So I'm going to put from my answer, my second one, And I'm not citing it so I can put it in my own words. You don't have to put quotation marks. You're just paraphrasing what you learned. He thinks about the way to use his arms and the right way to breathe. Now, you pause this if you need to type and you need to go back to paragraphs four through eight and you need to come up with another way that his uses body function pays attention to his body functions so think about not just your arms and your legs and your breathing but also your eating and your drinking after you type the second Evidence, piece of evidence and the third, then you can go ahead and go to question number three. In the past, who has Nathaniel, who has told Nathaniel that vegetables are good sources of nutrition? And they're telling you to go back to paragraphs eight and nine, and which describe Nathaniel at the dinner table. So I'm not going to tell you this one because this one is directly in the story. But what you're going to do is you're going to take the circle and you're going to move it and drag it over either A, B, C, or D. After you do that, go ahead and go to question four with me. So question four, what inference can you make about why the selection is titled Racing Toward a Goal? So this is where we have to take our background knowledge and also what we read and come up with an inference. It says reread the title and think about the keywords racing and goal. Look at paragraph 11 for details about Nathaniel setting goals. So I'm going to do a think aloud for this one and then you can just type what I type unless you have a better or you like your inference better. So we're looking at racing and goals and they're telling us to go to paragraph 11. So I'm going to go to paragraph 11. And paragraph 11 reads, Nathaniel started a running diary and wrote down his training schedule, distances, and times. The book also said that in addition to daily training goals, you should have a main goal, something important you want to achieve. Nathaniel decided that the main goal of his training would be to win the school's field day races in June. So I'm taking what I learned from that, and I'm making an inference. about why it is titled Racing Towards a Goal. And the title fits because the part of the passage that I read explains how he read about goal setting in a book. And then he set a goal to win a race at his school skill day. So that is my inference that I'm making based on the evidence. So I'm going to type the title fits. Because this part of the passage explains how he read about goal setting in a book and then set a goal to win. The race at the schools. Go ahead and pause this so you can finish typing your answer. If you have an inference that's similar to mine and you like your words better, go ahead and use yours. But remember, you have to write in complete sentences. The next question 
Number five, based on Nathaniel's actions, how would you best describe him? Use details from the selection in your response. Look at paragraphs 11 and 12 to help with this question. Think about people you know who think and behave similarly. What are they like? So if I'm thinking about Nathaniel, I'm thinking that he has a goal and he wants to achieve that goal and he keeps practicing and practicing and practicing. So the first word that comes to my mind to help describe Nathaniel is determined and dedicated. When he sets his mind to something, he doesn't give up. So those are the words that I'm going to use. If you want to use those words, you can copy this. If not, use your own words and give me evidence as to why. Nathaniel seems determined and dedicated. When he sets his mind to something, he doesn't give up and he keeps trying. He didn't even have a track team at a school, but he wanted to accomplish his goal. And so he just, he made a way to, to happen. Very determined. So do you know someone who's determined like that? Are you determined like that? When you set a goal to, on for something, do you keep on going and not stop? So you can pause this and type your answer. And then after you type your answer, you want to go ahead and go back to the blue, the tab that has the blue check and you need to hit click submit because I'm going to see if you actually did this lesson. I'm going to be checking the multiple choice and also your written responses to see if you had the same thing that I did or if you put something different.